It's about to get lit in here. You know what day it is? International Chess Day. We're about to blast chess. So let's go. Here's what we're gonna do when we blast chess today. First, we're gonna start out with a flat barbell press. Then we're gonna move over onto incline dumbbell press, really get that good range of motion. Next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do some cable flies. Then we're gonna head over to the Smith machine to get some nice slow and controlled decline press. Then I wanna show you guys something new. It's a two arm landmine chest press. So we're gonna knock all this out. I'm actually here with my boy Chad. He's also one of my platinum guys. I've been coaching him for about a year now. He's made some huge gains. We're about to help y'all make your gains even huger. Let's get it. Six, two, one, seven, eight. So most of the sets we're gonna be doing today are roughly about sets of eight. We're actually really training for that specific hypertrophy. We're really trying to maximize our growth through using some heavy weights and some slow negatives. Um, so that's what we'll be targeting today. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Another pancake? A pancake. One tip for you guys when you're trying to figure out your bench press. One really useful tip is to make sure when you're driving that bar up, make sure your forearms are perpendicular to the floor. You want those things vertical. If your elbows start to kick outwards, you're gonna to start to experience a lot of elbow pain. So watch out for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, yep. good. Four, come on. Five, good. Yep. Press, six, two more. Up, all you, one more. Get it up, get it up. It's all you, baby, it's all you, baby. Get set, good job. Take that, buddy. Guys, if you fail out, you know, one or two reps shy, don't worry about that. Obviously, it's best if you can have a spotter, but if you're by yourself and you fail out one or two reps shy, do a rest pause. Take 10 deep breaths. Regain your composure, and then knock out those last couple reps. Giants get eight good ones. It's gonna help him with lift off. Yep, yep. I'm gonna hand him the weight. Lift, one, two, yep. All right, all you, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, good. Six, Woo! come on. Yep. Seven, that's all you. Yep. Last one, up. Good. Good job. All right. Now we're moving. Good. You getting warm yet? Now we're moving. Three. Had a baby. Four. Halfway. Five. Good. Press. Six. You got two more. Come on. Seven. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Real quick, before I hit my next set, let's talk about your form on the bench. You want a slight arch to your back. I see a lot of people doing this these days with this huge arch. No, you do want an arch to protect your spine, a slight arch, but you want your glutes planted. You also want your feet planted and under you. That gives you leg drive. This will give you more power to your bench. Try it next time. One, two, hop. Come on, Johnny. Up, two, three, four, halfway there, five, come on. Six, come on. Got it. Seven. Go. Help me. Uh, up. Up. Boom. Woo. That's it. Yep. Come on. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. Yep. All you. Come on. Yep. That's it. Come on. I got you now. I got you now. Come on. Finish out the set. Uh. Six. Uh, come on, one more. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for doing those uh, upright runs there, Johnny. <laughs> you gotta finish the set, man. Four reps. Four reps help. It gets two types of muscle fibers. There's type two, type one muscle fibers. Fast twitch and slow twitch. In type two muscle fibers, the fast twitch, there's two categories. 2A and 2B. You don't even get into the 2A, 2B muscle fibers unless you're doing shit like that. Unless you're getting force reps, unless you're getting towards failure, you'll never get into them. Do it. Come on. 
One, all chest. All chest. One, two, yep! Come on. One, two, three. You're halfway there. Five, uh, come on. Got this. Six, two more. Seven, one more. last one. Finish up. Finish up. Press. Yeah. Good job. Knocked out flat bench, five sets of eight. Feeling good, feeling some blood flow. About to move it on to incline dumbbell bench. Advantage of dumbbells over barbells, they're isolateral. You're only you're pushing the weight individually with each side of your body. Your strong side won't take over. You don't want to abandon barbells, but it's good to do a mixture of both. On my chest. Also with the nice incline, guys, breath. you'll notice that Chad didn't set us up with a super crazy incline. It's about 45 degrees or so. You get too vertical, you're starting to get into your deltoids. You're gonna start moving it with your shoulders. So make sure your incline isn't too high. Good, slow and control. That's how I like it. We're really targeting the sternal head of your pec major right here, guys. So if you're not feeling it in your upper chest, stop, readjust, make sure what you're doing is the correct way, and try again. You might need to lighten the weight too. Is that it? Good. Get That's it? it, baby. Come on now. Let's do eight good ones. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Good. Woo. Good. Mm. Good stuff. Hell yeah. Got it. Two. Three. With slow negative. Good. Four. Halfway. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. Let's finish it up good. Eight. Great job. Great job. Good set. Guys, you have a training partner. If you're struggling to feel the intense muscle you're trying to work, applying light pressure, either tapping it or just lightly touching it while your training partner's lifting can often help with the mind-muscle connection. Or even with yourself, if you're doing it alone, let's say you're doing concentration drills, try touching your bicep to help you with that connection. Helps a lot. Helps a lot. You'll actually notice I'm not lifting very much weight. Uh, obviously, standing next to Johnny, it's tough to keep up with him. I'm certainly not that developed. But the thing that I really concentrate more is uh, just the contraction of the muscle, not really lifting the weight, just contracting the muscle correctly through its full range. That's really what I focus on. So. And he's gotten a lot stronger since I've been working with him. He's really yeah. strong, but yeah. we have days where we go heavy and then some days we go lighter and go for the contraction. Yeah. And that's exactly his, his, his form, his technique has just been perfected essentially. Righto. Notice also how Johnny is starting at the very top of the movement. It's really easy to contract the correct muscle when you do that. And then allow the weight to stretch the muscle out. Mm. Good, Johnny. Mm. Good. Mm, yep. Good job. Don't worry, I won't get you tough. Our muscles are like rubber bands. As you stretch them out, as you're doing a rep, you're loading up with tension, so that's a great way to start your set. Hup. One. Two, three, good. Four, five, three more. Six, good. Seven, last one. Last one now. Good. Good. That's a set. Well, these were heavier than I anticipated, but it's okay. We're going to go with it anyways. All right. Good, good. One, two, three, all chest. Four, five, six, finish up. Seven, come on. Yep. Good. Good job. Stop. Last one, baby. Yeah. This is the one that counts. 
<laughs> when you're doing your sets, you give as much of the last set as you do in the first set, promise you. That is gonna, that's how you progress. Hop, hop. Let's go, Chad. Come on. One. Two. Uh, three. Uh, four. Uh, five. Six. Come on. Seven. Last one. All you. Yep. All you, baby. Woo! Good set. Had to go to the secret stash over there. Somebody's knocked, you gotta knock the dust off these bad boys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. All right, Johnny. Yeah. Eight good ones. Come on. Wait, wait. Up. Good. All chest. One. <laughs> two. Three. Four. Five. Six, come on. It's all you. Seven, come on, finish up, finish up. Get him up! Yep, good. Good, keep your chest up, core tight. Knees slightly bent, scat back. Big thing, guys, your scap, it's your scapula. It's your shoulder blade, your shoulder girdle. A lot of exercises, your scap is supposed to be back to protect it from injury, but also to make sure your shoulders, your triceps, other muscles aren't taking over. So with your uh, chest flies, you've got to be careful. Don't just don't come rolling forward like that. Then your shoulders are going to be doing the movement. Good. All right. Looks great. We're targeting this middle chest area. Good. Good. Hitting that pec major. Good. So the object with a cable fly, a dumbbell fly, a chest fly, is not how much weight can I move. It's not that at all. It's all about the stretch oh. and the contraction. Good. There you go. Look at his chest popping. Because his chest is doing the work, not his shoulders, not his biceps. Good. Woo. Good, good set. That's a real good set. Two. Good. Three. Four, halfway there. Jeez. Good. Uh. Good. Yeah, felt good. Yep. Come on, finish up. Mm. Good. Stuff. Felt real good. Great, yeah. Felt good. Let's the next set. You'll see, guys. Chad isn't over here doing this. Pointless. Slow and controlled. He's controlling the weight with his chest. That's what we want. <coughs> Three. Four. Five. Six. Great job. Seven. Oh. Great job. Yep. Good. Squeeze. Go negative. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Good set, man. Man, I have a really hard time, guys, letting my chest sink down. I have a tendency to kind of roll forward a little bit. Man, when you do that, your shoulders really start taking over. I have to really remember to keep the chest up. That's what keeps the chest engaged the whole way through the movement. <clears throat> One. Two. Chest. Three. Four, halfway there. Five. Good job, Johnny. Three more. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Good squeeze. Good negative. Yeah. And negative something else. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good. Two more. 
Seven. Uh. Good squeeze. Squeeze. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. What's that? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good squeeze. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get into type 2B muscle fibers. Mm. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, come on. Six. Seven. Last one. All chest. Good squeeze. Good squeeze. Resist, a, resist a negative. All chest. All chest. Good. Nice. Woo good. Good. Oh, good. That's great. Last set. We're moving along here, guys. One. Come on. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Got it. Six. Seven. One more. We're making fire right now. I'm gonna make you work. Squeeze. Up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Is this negative? Four. Three. Two. One. Ah. Woo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks, but That's it's fun. Love it. One. Two. <gasps> mm. Mm. Ah. Five, come on. Six. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Get a good squeeze. Good squeeze. Good squeeze. Is this a negative? Is this a negative? Right here. Right here. Yes, that's it. You really nailed it. You really nailed it. Good yes. Job. Good stuff. Oh, great. Now we got some decline Smith. Yeah, so you really don't need too much of a decline, just enough to kind of hit that lower part of the chest here, which yeah. is what we're shooting for here. We're hitting a little bit of pec minor, which runs up underneath, and then we're also hitting that uh, coastal head of the pec major, as well as some of the sternal head. So we're really trying to Develop that booby. Yeah. Good stuff. Good way to put it. <laughs> all right, all chest. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Good. In it? Yep. Done. Last one. Good. How'd that feel? It actually felt really good. Three, four, five, six, two more. Seven, one more. Get it up. Good. You put it down. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nice. Let's get him, Chad. <coughs> One. Two. Three. Four. You got this. Five. Six. Good. Two more. Press it up. Last one. Make it count. Press it up. It's all you. <clears throat> it's set. It's a way to build. 
So Johnny, on that one, I felt a little bit on my shoulders. What do you think I was doing wrong? Okay. So if that, if you're feeling it a little bit in your shoulders, first you want to check your angle where you're positioned on the bench. Make sure you're not too far back, too far forward, especially because we're on a Smith machine. This bar is in a fixed position. So you're going to go where the bar is. So if you're, too, if you're pressing a little bit too off angle, like notice when I press like this, my arms are going a little off angle. You want to be pressing straight. So make sure that you're positioned on the bench correctly so your arms are perpendicular. Make sure your grip is wide as when you bring that bar down, your forearms want to be just about perpendicular to the floor. If you bring the bar down, your arms are way out here. It's a lot of tension on the elbows and a lot of tension on the shoulders. Next thing, just check your scap. Make sure your shoulder blades are back flat Got on it. the bench. Let's do this. One, two, yep. Got it. You can lower it on the lower one. Mm. One, mm. two, mm. three, mm. four, five. Yep. Six. Help me. Come on. Yep. Seven. Yep. Eight. Eight. Good. Woo. Good. A little bit better bench position here. I was a little further up on the bench than so I should have been. Yeah. He changed his position on the bench. Forearms perpendicular to the ground. Perfect. Forearms straight up and down when he brings all the way down. Perfect. Shoulder blades flat on the bench. Not overextending, bringing the shoulders up. This is perfect, guys. Good. Yep. Good. Come on, get it up. One more. Press a little up. I felt a lot better. Felt better? Yeah, felt Good. a lot better. Good. Good. Much better. One, two. Good. One, two, three, four, halfway there. Five, come on. Six, come on. Yep. Come on. Yep. Good. <laughs> Good. Failure. Good job. That was failure. Good job. That's it? That's it. All right. Check on now. We're going to show you guys one of our favorite finishers. It's a two arm landmine chest press. This is a landmine. It's when you can connect a barbell to a pivot point. A lot of gyms are starting to get these now. It's real popular. Tons of exercise you can do with this stuff. So I'm going to have Chad demonstrate while I talk. Doing the two plate chest press. Two plate chest press. Now, this is perfect to get that cleavage. A lot of people think chest flies are the best for getting this center cleavage. It's good, but it's not the best. You're not in a pressing movement, you're more in a stretch and contraction. This one we're pressing, getting an ultimate squeeze, ultimate contraction. So see, Chad has his knees bent, chest up, core tight, and he's pressing with his chest. He's not rolling forward, forward with his shoulders. And when he brings it up here, he's squeezing the hell out of it, like you have a pencil in between there and you wanna break it. Good job. Good. Uh. There you go. Woo! Good. How's that weight? Yeah, this feels great. Feels good? Guys, it's a really easy movement to feel through the entire range of that muscle. You can't feel it through the entire range of the muscle. If you feel it too much on the shoulders, lower the weight. Get the motion right. Good. All chest. Yeah. Plenty of weight. Yeah, it's plenty of weight. Plenty of weight. Plenty of weight. Woo. Uh, you know, I could probably do, you know, a few more of these plates, but it'd be all shoulders. I'd just be, be I'd be trying to impress people. I'm not really trying to impress people. <laughs> Nobody cares. Leave the ego at the door. So I tell my boys. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five, six, two more, seven, last one. That a baby, that a baby. Woo, good set, baby. It feels good. It's good set. Got some blood in there for sure. All right, Johnny, call chest. One, two. Notice how he's holding the bar. I actually forgot to do this on my last set. He's really putting pressure on the bar. He's squeezing it with his hands, not gripping it. 
makes a really big difference. Huge it's difference. Keep, it's keeping this engaged right here, rather than just holding the bar, which is I think what I did on that last set. Yeah. So you're not only pressing, but you're squeezing with inward tension. Game changer. <laughs> Good point, Jay. It is because if I have the bar here, and I'm pushing it together with my hands or pushing towards each other, it's contracted already. It's all contracting in my chest. If I try to hold it, it's all on my shoulders. But if I push it together, it's all on my chest. There you go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. You got two more. Seven. Finish it up. Eight. Great job. Yeah. Much Woo! better. Yeah. It Different. doesn't look like a lot of weight, but Different. definitely feels like a lot of weight. Different. Yep. Six. He's contracted to that whole range of motion. Good. <coughs> Woo! Yeah. Man. Has tension on it all the way through the movement. I love this movement. It's a great this movement. Thing, man. This is the best. Don't don't catch yourself going in the gym doing the same shit over and over. Your body will figure it out. I promise you. You've got to have variety in there. Not only your exercise, but your reps, your sets your time, your tempos, all of it's gotta be variable. Three, four, good job. Five, there you go. Six, seven, last one. Squeeze, good. Contract, good. Ooh, there you go. That's it, that's it baby, that's it. One more. One more for you. Finish it up. Six. Eight. Good. That's it. That's a chest day. Oh yeah. That's it. Awesome. Hell of a job, man. I gotta say, Chad. Yeah, good job. I mean, really killing it. Great workout, good tips. I mean, this guy's learned a lot in the last year. I have. And that's the thing. I mean, when I coach guys, I don't just tell you what to do. I tell yeah. you why we're doing it and why you want to do it. So, guys, we had a great chest workout today. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure and comment below if you have any questions, any suggestions for other workouts for us to do. Make sure and share this thing. Like us. Yeah. Subscribe to us on the channel, guys. We appreciate you. Next time, this is Chad. It's your boy, Johnny. See you next time, guys.